what up, what up, though? Welcome to another hot episode of Pop Radio. My name is Miss Cosmo. See how long we're guys. Is that your new intro? Oh, because every, you, every time you say hot episode, I just keep <laughs> hearing the pun. <laughs> in, in the, uh, shh, you know the pun with the party in the, uh, the morning after. I yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm rolling with Scoop Magatini, Siang Wakazi. Yebo. What are the other aliases there? Do you only have the, the one? No, I've got plenty. Mm-hmm. Makataza. Yes. Scoop Mtagati. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one that a, a, a name they used to call me in PE, and they still call me. Till to this day, Abanda Bandazio from Webe Kumbombo, because I loved um, I loved Shaga Zulu so much growing up in I mean, I, growing up in PE, yeah, a uh, closer place to um, and obviously the 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 Shaga Zulu was playing at that time with Hendrik Tele, and the theme song was Bombo Bombo Bombo. Bom, 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 bom. bom. yeah. So as a young kid, I loved that 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 drama series and that series so much that uh, I made like a spear. With a cardboard and a not a spear. I made a shield with a cardboard mm. and then I made a spear with like wire. Then I used to run around the whole hood screaming boom 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 boom. And then my family just kind of took to that. My older sister started calling me that actually, and it it's it such a terrorist. Now you're running around with a shield and like am, a wire. I, I, I am a terrorist, <laughs> Sana. Well, now what are your AKAs? How did you get on Cosmo? Uh, dimples actually gave word, me the name. Word, we d- we have discussed this. We before. spoke about it off air, though. We yes, didn't speak about it on, on air. air. Yeah. Why did he say you are because you're cosmopolitan? Because we were having a few. I had a few cosmopolitans, and I had one too many. And then he just tweeted it, and then VG retweeted him. Word. And he was like, "Yo, that's a dope name." So it is a very dope name. And then and then I added the miss because I was like, "Cosmo is a very male name," so mm-hmm. I needed people to know I was female. So I then said, "Miss Cosmo." Nice. And yeah. then you, Miss Cosmo. And then I got to work with VG and Dimples on the podcast. Imagine, dog. Look at them. Um, you do deserve your own variant of the co- the. You, it could be the Cosmopolitan, eh? but yours is going to be called the Miss Cosmopolitan. Yes. You can hit up rockets. You can hit up just a young restaurant. Ushai variant, yeah, Kondan. Yes. I'm I'm down with that. I really love your name. I call you cosmic. I call you cosmosis. I call you a lot of things. People call me cosy, yeah. costume. costume. I've, heard, I've heard them all. And I'm just like, at this stage, I can't even say no. Showcase. You know I mean? All right. So uh, we've got an awesome interview for today. Yeah. We're chatting to somebody who's also got deeply rooted into his uh, imagery as we've been speaking about our own names and our own um aliases he's also got his own thing that he's kind of running with i'm quite keen to chat to him happy to also kind of pick his brain a little bit mm. because he's one of those people who's very like here's the music don't talk to me yes you know yes so i want to know a little bit more i mean i know him personally but i just want to know just further more sure you know how, how long have you known him um, I met Muzi, I actually started interacting with him on social media after I heard his music. Yeah. So I'd follow him, whatever, you know, and just like laugh at his corny jokes because he just does that thing on Twitter. Yeah. And then met him, I think for the first time at Rocking the Daisies, if I'm oh, not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it wasn't Rocking the Daisies. It was another event. It was an until until event, if I'm not mistaken. But it was one of those like, hey, we've been tweeting each other. Hey, we're in person. And then we literally just like energy vibes, you know, that's no what doubt. it was. Yeah. No doubt. It is Muzi. Uh, A.K.A. Zulu Skywalker, Fanama Sempangeni, KZN, he's traveled the world, yeah. proactive with his, um, with his, with his struggle of trying to get people out there, not really knowing him, but falling in love with the music. Just yeah. like you said, it, he he really wants you to fall in love with the work and leave him out of it. Yeah. You know, he's a father, he's a son, he's a brother, and uh, he's a friend to many people out there, and he's a great, great artist, a very conceptual artist so yeah. i'm also i'm also looking forward to picking his brain and just scraping the top of the screen and see what lies beneath yeah yeah but of course we're also going to check out what's hitting our radar outside of what Muzi is about to introduce us uh-huh. into scoopy what have you been checking out what's on your radar oh shit <laughs> <laughs> oh shit <laughs> you know what is on my radar yeah it's been on my radar it is south african brands clothing Okay. I think we did a great job on Thread Count, and a lot of the brands that I spoke about on Thread Count have really started having their own legs to stand on nice. right now. Swank ha- has a shop now Dope. in Bromfontein. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Um, 
um, Pessimistic, which is a label that we've talked about as well, and I also rock. They have a pop up in Rosebank, Clean. opposite Krispy Kreme. Refuse, who I'm wearing right now in the shirt uh, shirt version of of their clothing, and I wore the jersey with the with the zoo, with the Cossa King on yeah. the side with the feather. That's also Refuse. They from Durban, and they have been invited for South African Fashion Week. That's so. Now cool. I'm not gonna say that it's me, but I'm definitely gonna say that I have a big part to play in that. Yeah. Because these things were not on the radar before, and I feel like there's a lot of people in brands or people in positions that go to my Instagram or do check what I'm doing, they won't necessarily give me the credit or the kudos, but they do see it and go, if that nigga says it is, then we are going to move with it. But yeah. we won't, we won't say it's him. Yeah. So I, I'm really thankful to these kids as well because they call me and they're like, yo dude really want your energy here, 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 help us out here, here, here. And I don't charge these kids, but I see what they do and I want it to be known mm -hmm. because I see a uh, great potential in them. And I love being this person now that's watching them actualize this potential. So shout outs to them and many other yeah. labels as Zansi that are on the J O P. Yeah. I saw even great Africa is going to do a pop up in New York. They did. Oh, sold okay. out. They did Dope. do a pop up in New York and they sold out. They did very well. They have a collaboration with Shiva's as well. So Zaid is also doing a lot of work. And Zaid so was one of the first people I actually supported as well before he started Ukraine. He was just selling sneaks. Mm. You know, selling sneaks in Cape Town. I spent a lot of money on that motherfucker. <laughs> I know that for a, I, even he knows this for a yeah. fact. Like, yo, I kept him afloat for years. Yeah. Shout outs to Great Africa because I think they're one of the only people who've given us something that we could give away to one of our fans. Um, yeah. yeah. We got yeah. a t-shirt after we yeah. shot in the shop. You're right. And then uh, a fan got a t-shirt. So I think it's, it's really dope. The supporters, You're right. you know, You're going right. full circle. So Showcase. big ups to Zaid and the team. Um, on Musically my radar, for me, please help me out. I've been checking out an artist by the name of Echo the Beast. Mm -hmm. um, he's been working a lot with Flame. Making sure. mad music with Flame. And you know anything that Flame touches is just... Mm. I actually think, and I'm going to go on record on saying this, Flame is my favorite artist right now. Mm. And I say that sonically, rap, hooks, mm. production. Mm. He's just got this thing that like I, nice, I fall in love with. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he's on um he's on the feature on this tune. It's called Humble Pie. They're rapping, they're having their, they're having a good time with it. But I just love the energy that they have with each other. For me, if I can feel a song is organic, that's what I I I, I get drawn towards as well. So uh Echo the Beast, go and check him out. It's called Humble Pie. Speaking of flame. Uh, just he, this guy I'm going to speak about. I like, you know what I mean? Because you throw me on another train of thought now and I can speak about an artist. There's a, a, a dude who is in the flame circle uh, who released a project with Diamonds. Okay. Diamonds is really, really nice. He's a rapper, full-on rapper. Umzala Untsuembo. When I'm a one-two punches, very simple lines, but very intricate, very smart, great production. Uh, you should check out his latest project. Okay, well, as we're talking production, we're talking about smart music and everything coming together. Our next Have you playlisted TSA yet? TSA? Ah. No. Not okay. as yet. Okay. <laughs> but uh, maybe I'll get okay, to I'll it. i just test it. <laughs> just zama ring. Zama, zama, zama. Zama, zama, zama. I said, zama. What <laughs> the fuck was going on those days? <laughs> yeah, everybody had a slogan. Hey. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to divert. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get into our interview for today. Somebody who is going to blow our minds, I know, because every time I talk to him, I'm always like, whoa. Mm, very smart dude. Yeah, we're going to be chatting to Muzi in a moment. Yeah. Hey, hey now. So we're here with the hot interview, a hot chat, a hot conversation. With the interplactic, intergalactic Zulu Sky Walkering. Oh my gosh! <laughs> he goes by the name of Muzi. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you guys? I'm all right. Right. Thank you so much for coming through, man. Thank you for having me. You don't do much of these no. unless you control the, the, the vibe yourself and put out the content yourself. Uh, yeah. Why is yeah. that? Or oh, unless it's like friends or people that I know. Why is that? Hey, we are so lucky. Huh? No. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm also choose and find almost oh peaky. I wonder what it's like with the girls. Yeah. Oh peaky, oh men do this. Ah, uh, you have to it's yeah to control the narrative. What narrative? Like the story of, like I don't want to dilute it. You know, the same way I do the music, mm. regardless of what's happening, I'm doing my thing. It's like I find the storytelling part of it very important. So if Abantu say they're not like, like artistically, like where I'm trying to be or whatever. Mm then it doesn't make sense. Yeah, I mean, we were playing the music now and someone um, who was around was like, yo, what is this? Who is this? <laughs> you know, and, and, and I like the fact that you know that you're not for everybody. Yeah. You know? God do I get fair to, in terms of Mtulowako, I know it's hard to define it. I know uh, putting things in boxes is probably not your steez. Yeah. But would you even have a genre for it? No. Yeah. So then when, when you upload to Apple Music, routine, I just say electronic music. You know how like, hip-hop is electronic music, you know, because it's, yeah. it's all made on computers. It's electronic. So, so Is that your reasoning? Yeah, it's just like, just it's, it's electronic because I made it on a computer. It's futuristic Baganga, which definitely exactly. is electronic. You know, yeah. so like, like, like I try, I try, I like the electronic thing because it means like, to like bend the rules a bit more. Mm. Like other genres are very like, if it's not this, it's you're it's, right. You know, so mm. electronic music is more open as a title or a genre, just because of how much like I can fuck up the sound. You're okay. right. Okay, and you know, I think <clears throat> sometimes roots kind of play a big part in um, creativity. Plays a big part in the path that you take, and obviously, yeah. we can hear. Well, I guess for us, we hear the roots because very um, kizen and bangin. You know, you're yeah. that kid, but also. On the other edge of the sword is you coming from Mpangeni. And I'm sure Aban Bas Kai but ye in Lenta Yenza Yumus. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's going on? Um I th- I think sh- at, at first like they never used to understand it. About because like even when you hear the music, you you hear what I'm taking from, but you don't know what I've made. The thing that I've made is kinda like fresh to the ear. So it's like I think that always used to con- like confuse them. Ming it's an oh no. Bing lalilu o Brenda. Yeah. And then I make like my version of that, and then they're like, "But who gave you Brenda?" Like, mm. to me, it's something like like a snare that I used or a kick that I used in the in the song that for me pays homage to that sound. Yeah, gotcha. So like like they and then they just let me be. Like when they stopped trying to understand me, I think that's when they understood. Sure, because <laughs> they just let me be. And then like bang trust, it's okay. Like lenteng enzayo. Like I'm I'm really good at it and. Like just timber to a point where um, to be understood is like the last thing on my mind. When we're speaking about you as a musician now, but you have an extensive history before music, a musician as a DJ, which yeah. came first. It was just DJing, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, can you just take us through the 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 trail of Ukalen Jani Nini and it DJing yako, and how did it then uh, develop into you saying and like Zach, I want to do this now and yeah. be a musician myself. Um. So I, I started producing first. So I, I got I, you. I wanted to be a producer. Ne? Like I never wanted to be in front about being the artist. So I just wanted to be like behind the scenes, make music and make money in Italy. You were like, a that big, was the dream. You played a big part in Ricky's first project, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like... Um, oh, Mina, that's my mm, dream. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like leave the, the circus or yeah whatever. i feel so you. so that that's always been my thing but like so when i was younger i was working hard at just like making like producing beats but i always used to write um like i'm a chorus and whatnot but i was never like confident enough to actually record it myself so i'd i'd, I'd make like a demo like send it to an artist double and then if the artist likes it they record over it i just get my publishing my upfront fee and i'm good about and then um it got to a point where Working at artists was stressful because you wait for the album cycle. You wait to get paid. Uh, niggas is posting mercs online and you're not paid. I'm like, oh, say what? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so there's like, so there's like things like that, like where where umuntu like um um produce a lile, we are born. Life is good. But you know what I'm saying? And mm. like that that back and forth of just like yo where you have to beg for money that you owed. Like, I never liked that power sure. dynamic. So I figured, Duguti, if I DJ my beats, like, then, like, I kind of take my power back. So that's that's when I started DJing. Mm. So that's, then, like, that's around, like, 
2011, yeah, 2011, yeah. That's the same time I meet like with John, my manager. So then we start like doing like the festivals. Like at the time, like oh, rocking the daisies weren't like I was like um, one of the few black artists that were on there at the time because it was very like rock oriented. Yes, 2012 and whatnot. Yes. So we doing that. We doing Ram Fest. Like I'm just playing all these festivals because I figured out how to perform my beats. Yeah. And then, um, so I DJ for like how many years? Like four years or something, four or five years. Mm. And then I was playing a gig at um, Basha Uhuru. I was yes. doing a gig yeah. at Basha Uhuru. I remember Constitutional Hill, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for some for some reason, I think like some artists had gone like over time and whatnot. And then when it was time for my set, I think I was playing before like a headline or something. When it was time for my set, they'd cut my set. Yeah. And I only had like five minutes of a set. I'm like, what's I'm the point? DJ, yeah. DJ and five minutes, man. Mm-hmm. But I was like, I never, like when things like that happen, I, I, I always like go through it. Like, like whatever. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, so I played, I played one song, um, like I, I DJed in one song and then Ngabugi's cards in it's like three minutes. I'm like, shit, like, they're not How am gonna, I going to make my impact? They're yet. not going to remember me. So that's when I take like a mic I took the mic and then I performed the next song that I DJed in. And then I was like, shit, I like that. You know, my set was finished, but people remembered the whole, I left the booth to perform a song. Mm. Thing. And I was like, shit, I liked how that felt. So then that's when I started. And that's what, 2018, I think. And then that's when I started performing. Nice. That is a dope story. Yeah, it's an amazing story. And I think also, because it's also just how you've, I don't know, identified yourself or you've created yeah. this brand that people now say this is what Muzi does when he performs and that's what people want to see. Yeah. That's what people want to engage with. But just to kind of run it back just a little bit as well, I mean, um, you say your influence is obviously coming through to pay homage to Mbakanga and the likes, yeah. but for you to kind of mix it with um, uh, rock or uh, electronic music or techno, or whatever the case may be, yeah. is something a little off-center to yes. what would typically be the 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 uh, collaboration in in 2021. Typically, yeah. people would say, "Okay, let's make a Kwaito song, but we'll pay homage, or we'll make a hip hop song, or we'll make a piano song." Yeah. Wh- what were your influences for you to decide to go that direction with the music, and yeah. what were you listening to? Um. Okay. Uh. So, what I was listening to, I guess, like Ekaya, like um, Uma used to listen to like gospel. My brothers, Abo Pasta, no, Afriz, used to listen to hip hop because they were basketball. They were Pasta, you, they were basketball. Pasta, oh, your brother, yeah, <sighs> from Durban. No, they are mad. They are mad. <laughs> so like, so like, they scoops used, on say what? Yeah, that's crazy. What? So like, I remember, Yo. remember we had this conversation. Yeah, like, but now, it, um, now that, and we are fan and I. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, they used to play basketball and they were huge into like hip hop. And my other brother was into like R and B, and my dad was into. Daft Punk and electronic music. Wow. Really? So, so Mina, I'm growing up hearing like all these different types of music, but Ginga, right? So, I'm not hearing Mkul and be like, oh, that's um, that's um, Pakang. That's um, Maskan. I'm just hearing music, mm. right? So, I think in that upbringing, like when I started like making music myself, all the people that I, that, uh, that like my family had exposed me to, in a way, like, they made me feel confident enough to try something out for myself. Because, mm. like, even when you look at hip-hop, the whole thing of hip-hop is, is even quite, though, like, the whole thing of slowing down disco beats and then rapping on them, it, it makes it new. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So, like, all the genres and all the things that I look up to is when guys took a rock beat and made it hip-hop. When guys took a, a techno beat and made it hip-hop or, or vice versa, whatever, you know? So, like, I like that idea of... Like and then you just like bring like a new light to it. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't like doing things that I've seen. I don't like doing things that I've heard. In terms of your structure, you are a very structured person, and it's seldom that you find someone <coughs> as structured as you are in the entertainment industry. Apemzansi, you management, publicity. I mean, and I only found this out now. I remember yeah. walking in Cape Town uh, with a friend of mine, and we bumped into you in the street, and and he was like, yo, that's smooth. And we were walking with this white dude. And yeah. I don't know who that was. But I yeah. know him now. Because even when we, we were reaching out for the interview, he said to me, I'll do the interview. But you need to go tell John 
call him and then he drops the number ya gacho on or double zero double four <laughs> number that's his dates yeah, yeah so i'm like damn this nigga got american representation then john hits up his publicist here in sa on some okay yeah as an anti publicist uzo kjalo kuti ya no sharp grand so i was like damn umuzi and even now when you were still talking about your djing you yeah. were already talking about publishing yeah, and yeah. making and producing sorry you were yeah. already talking about publishing how did you get to know so much about the game and uh it's it's um it's paper and money trails yeah how did you get to know that um by getting fucked over like Eesh. when i was when i was younger <laughs> yeah. like primarily yeah primarily we all did yeah you know yeah. Pri- primarily so like like when you first like get into the game like you you need music to get into the game but when you're in it it's not about music anymore it's about the business side of things. Yeah, that's So true. so when I was young and I was like naive and stuff about Yangena, Tempa Bantu, you give them whatever this that and the third. But like what they make, they being artists, record label whatever that's involved versus you as an independent producer like who actually made the song, like it didn't add up to me. So when I met John, I think like um he he he's had like such like like a long time like in the industry and i always like ask him questions so then i start finding out about like rights publishing this that like the whole structure so then what we did is we built like this solid foundation so that when things happen i don't crack mm. right? you hear what i'm saying mm. so because i'd cracked before so now even like before doing this like i just dropped off like my kid mm. like that's the main priority so the whole business is 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 founded to take care of my child sure yeah. you know right so regardless of what happens in the industry she needs to be good mentally i need to be good as well and all that stuff so so we we so in order to do that you need to know what you're into yeah you know, what what you're in like if you want to be a doctor you study six years and to do that in music you just drop a song mm. yeah mm. but there's still like a part of it where you need to study because mm. the guy that's signing you knows the things that you don't know mm. you know what i'm saying so 100. like i I put it upon myself and I was lucky enough to have like Aban Taban Jungle John in my life where um they they were free with the knowledge. And again he approached you. I approached him. You approached him. How did you guys meet? Um he used to manage uh Jack's Panic and U DJ High Tech from the Antwoord. Sure. When he was here. So yeah. you you made it festivals. So I I I used to send people beats on Facebook. <laughs> You're one of those. Yeah. Hi, my oh, name is Kanye. I'm a producer. Yes. Please, check out, Please check out my stuff. Please check out my stuff. But I was smart. I was smart because I'd send a 20 second beat. If you like clean. that 20 second beat, I want more. I wouldn't send the whole song. That's mm. so clean because mm. yo, there's nothing worse than listening to like three minutes of like you what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Like, usually, usually, like after you've heard music for a while, you know in the first 10 seconds if you're gonna like something. Yeah. Really. Strong. I used to say like 20 25 second things and that's like, so oh, smart hear more. Mm. and then I'm producers off. please take a note here because so it's that very important that message thing. <laughs> i won't lie I w- that is so important yeah so that used to help me a lot so without john i wanted to make a a remix for uh think the unput at the time and and then he told me to like he said okay he's playing a festival in durban he's, they're playing a festival in durban i must come meet them there so that's how i met him mm. but then after that he He didn't want to like do management anymore. He wanted to go into um uh, music law. And then I was like, "Yo, dude, you hear the music, you know it's fire, like help me." Mm. You know, so then then we had a um like just talking back and forth for like almost a year when I was just sending him music. I'm getting better, I'm getting better until he was like, "Yo, okay, let's do it." Nice dog. I like how you you know what is necessary for you yeah. for you to kind of get your pl- your 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 bag outside of that also yeah. how to get yourself in a certain space and you're yeah. talking about uh, other people obviously understanding certain things which is important for you to know uh, well for your team to know uh, but what is it that you've kind of accomplished uh, uh, mm. <laughs> Definitely, <laughs> just went shui. <laughs> What is it that you have accustomed yourself to, uh, from a school perspective? Did you go to school? Did you learn anything? Yeah. Or was it one of those things where you've just you're leaving it up to John because he's yeah. doing the book thing? Yeah. Um. No, I I haven't gone to school for it, but like I've I've. Did you study anything? I, I studied medicine and I dropped out. Really? Yeah. But like that's another story. We're getting, we're, getting educa- we're getting educated people on the show recently. Medicine? Mm. Yeah. Why? Um, 
I was super smart and I didn't want to go and study music. Sure. And then music then still said no actually. Yeah, like I tried. Like so I did it for like um I was I was a student like I didn't study. So I, I, I like the way you just. I was super smart, Jay. Like, no, sure. but I, I was. You are super like, smart. Basically, I, I, I don't. Can I don't need that. to do this. Like, I can just go in yeah, and rock. Yeah, yeah. So you know, you're just gonna pick up a. You I know. I got. I got like. Um. I got like a like a scholarship for. Was it like three three four years or something like that? And then when the scholarship finished, I didn't have money to pay. So I was like, I'm not gonna struggle for something that I don't love. You know, yeah. med school is like. Like all the other med students were like so passionate about like that, and Mina, I was passing, but I, every day I'm making music. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So like it started hurting. Where'd you study? You kids are in. Okay. So like like it started like just getting to me. Go to like bonga band lana like bachabulile doing what they love, and here I am, like stuck. Mm, you know? Can't wait to get home to make this beat. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. So like, and that's how I dropped out. Actually, that exact thing happened. I really. Was walking into an exam room. To write my final exam, and something in my head was like, "Yo, dude, go make music." Sure. So I turned around, and people were like, "Where are you going? Where are you going?" I'm like I'm going to make music, and that was it for me. Ish. I love. I, I'll be honest, right? Like, I just looked at your 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 catalog. Sure. Your catalog recently, mm. and um, damn, dog, you've done a lot. Can you just go through the number line of your projects? Per chronological order before we go forward, because yeah. I can't remember them and I don't want to whip out the phone right now because the phone companies ain't paying us yet. Ish, <laughs> so phone companies pay them, please. <laughs> please. Um, uh, e, okay, so what kala and, and this is now as a musician. I don't know if those projects listed they are also you on a DJing tip as well. Yeah, I don't they, know. Yeah, all of them are. On okay, so just all of them are after I stopped producing for other people. Damn. So like, um, the first one, first one I was like. Early on, I was I was doing a lot of like dubstep stuff, so like there's like new effects. <laughs> I'm so dead at how the accent changes when he says dubstep stuff. Yeah, oh my god, it's like me and my bros. I just saw a lot of white like, people. Like oh, I me and my bros. <laughs> I, <laughs> line, I just I just remember seeing a lot of white people. I'm like, damn. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I dropped uh new effects, pop the bongo, and which other one? Cinco Chile. And then I oh and then I dropped a uh, five effects EP mm. and then from there, um, moved to Berlin, dropped Boom Shaka, which is also like very like EDM sort of vibe. And then I came back home. When I came back home, I dropped uh, Zen Zile, and that was when like my dubstep thing was gone, and I wanted to go back to the music I loved sort of vibe. Um, I was yeah, never mind. It's, it's another story. Um, yeah, I dropped Zen Zile. Dropped a song called Desire. Um, dropped a song called Dark Matter that got on an Apple ad or something. And then I dropped Afrovision. And then I dropped uh, Stimulus Ecolite. Dropped Zeno. <laughs> dropped Mama EP. And now I just dropped Interplanting. It's a lot, bro. Yeah, it is. It, it's a lot, bro. It's a lot, like... The Mama EP, I, I remember that very clearly. <clears throat> Everything else before, I was clueless. I ain't gonna mm. lie, my nigga. But the Mama EP, I also remember it because I have never heard of someone or seen someone. Maybe it has happened, but uh, it was it was very like surprisingly uh, good to me to see an artist performing or recording something dedicated to their mom, like totally. Yeah. Can you just shed some light on why you needed to do that? Uh, lost my mom. Lost last year in Jan. So like, it just felt like I, before I dropped things that are about me, I needed to do that. Like she was like super supportive of me and my career. And I felt like, I like, like in my own way, I felt that like, that would be great for me to do before I do like movies or Skywalker or whatever. Showcase. Is, you know, so, so it was just purely for that. And also to not like, stick with the pain but to let it out like music helps me a lot mm. like it's like my therapy in, in a way like like so it helps me to get things off my chest and that's why like i did it you know it was purely f all projects are for me but that one was like for like Uma, mm. you know which that was, was weird because she wasn't she wasn't gonna hear it so it, 
She definitely heard it, dog. <laughs> yeah, she did. She no, we know. It. We yeah. know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We know. But, but I get like, what you're saying. Yeah, in a, physi- in, in a physical thing, like yeah. in a physical world, I couldn't call and be like, yo, I made a project <laughs> yeah. about you. you know? But I I needed to do that. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and you can also kind of see how a lot of your emotions get caught up in, in well, not caught up, but like in your music. Yeah. Because um, even with uh, the project for Uzeno, yeah. um, I can hear the, the the imagery also coming through about how excited you are to be a father yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and your relationship with her as well. Yeah. Uh, just, you know... You had a project about her as well? Your daughter? Yeah, so Zeno is a future letter. Zeno, the album is a future letter for Zeno. His daughter. daughter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy. Yeah. So fatherhood, I mean, I think for you, even just finding out you're going to be a dad and then your relationship and how you always like posting your daughter, you've got yeah. a really great relationship with her. Yeah. Um, how has that kind of changed your thinking? Obviously, like from a protective perspective, that's there. Yeah. But I'm just saying just changed you so that you could also look at your music differently. When, like... My life means more because it's not about me. Like, it's like the weirdest thing because like, all the time, it's moozy, 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 man. Mm. But like when, when, when Zeno came, it, it, it all became about her, you mm. know? And, and I think that's like, I was already working on being like a better person and better version of myself, but like that really like cemented the best parts of me. Mm-hmm. And so even in the music, I'm aware of the energy I'm putting in the music. You know, I don't want to, I want my kid to be proud of me, you know? And, like, I, at a point, some type of, like, miss him dad to be like, yo, damn, my dad was cool as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I want that to be something she says. So even when I do the music, like, the way I express it, I I express it in mm. That's why I don't swear a lot and all yeah, these things. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like... It's like... It's like... So that when she's older, like, she can just think I'm cool. You know, so yeah, it's 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 affected. I, yeah, it's affected my my music like drastically. It's beautiful. The one thing I also love about uh, your music, you say very intelligent lines and very intelligent, thought provoking things, but you manage to say it in very few Sim- words yeah, and very simple, simple words, which is a mark of intelligence. You know, so that's why I was like, yo, I yeah. get you are super smart because when you can take chunks of information and be able to deliver it in a simple way with yeah, less yeah. words used, that yeah. is a mark of intelligence, you know? Thank you, man. Um, and also, it, it it's playful, but you are yeah. serious. Yeah. You, this is the most serious you are when a mic is involved. Because yeah, yeah, when yeah. I look at your footage, when I look at your videos, when I look at your, 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 your content... You're a very frivolous guy. You're a yeah. very like take it off the top guy. You yeah, know, yeah. Are we no. you don't think about too much of how you're going to come across. You're really yeah, like yeah. on the fly, yeah. but it's well thought out and it's well executed. Yeah. You know, um, with some of the things you, t- you talk about interblactic, yeah. I, I feel like it's really such a dope album. Thank you. Is it an album or an EP? It's an That's, album. It's an album. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just talk to us about your album. Yeah. So, so uh, after so much work churned yeah. out. So, so the 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 reason why like like I'm a project artist. You know, some artists are single artists, like they can drop singles and then have a career. Like I, I'm an album guy. You know, like I like dropping albums and stuff. Like so, Interplactic is if you look at Afrovision, Zeno, and Interplactic, like they form a triangle. So all of these are like tackling similar concepts, but in the tackling of the similar of the similar concepts, I'm growing. So like I start oh, deep long time of it. So like I st- oh, deep one. <laughs> There's so much happening. <laughs> like it's the rock triangle. Right? Oh, deep fun. But that's how I see it. Yeah. You know? Continue my that's how I see it. Yeah. So so Interplactic has parts from Zeno, parts from Afrovision. I sampled songs that I did in Zeno, I sampled songs that I did in Afrovision. Oh to 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 complete the, the sort of triangle. Oh. Yeah. So like like um just, just even the 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 way I played it, like with the word intergalactic, and then I just added black in there, so it's like inter intergalactic or whatever. And a lot of people like took it, would see like, oh, this is future, no, no, no. And I was like, how is it the future when I'm I'm here with you right now? It's the same timeline. What I actually do is take from the past. You know, that's my thing. Like I take from like I I stand on the shoulders of Avantu, like that made music in the eighties and early nineties, because I feel like. It was such a, like the time was so inspiring, Mm-mm. you know that like, like that people 
had a sense of freedom and not like too much thought processes. Like if you listen to South African disco and Gwai yeah, and all that stuff, yeah, it's so. Like, I achieve summer techie. Dude, this is not my size. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, oh, like bigger. it's like what? But yeah, yeah, Marsh mm. and young and you know what I'm saying. So I like, I like that energy. And in Interplactic, I wanted to sort of just express the. The nowness. You of, definitely of, did, of bro. Africa. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. You not, really did. Not this Afro like futurism thing, but like manje. What's it's manje, manje, manje. You know what I'm saying. That's why I made the jacket that was in, inspired by um, uh, the sort of you know like when the Zulu king like it yeah. There. So that's why I had like that triangle thing for the Zulu Skywalker. You know. So Showcase. It's just this is in took like ukbong alapis You know, I like doing that. The imagery is really great. I yeah. can see how you think about things um, like very specifically yeah. Yeah. before you're about to do stuff. Yeah. Um, do you plan your sets, your like your performances? Because I say it because obviously it, it has to be organic. It has to be fun. But like you're mixing also, you're also yeah. DJing. Sometimes they things happen when you're DJing you where know, you can yeah. miss a cue or maybe you miss a song. You forget to play a song and then, hey, yeah. okay, move on. Yeah. Do you plan your sets or do you also just rock and say, okay, this is the energy for today? Um, because most of the, most like the sets is mostly like my own music. Yeah. So like I have sort of like a, a skeleton of what this uh. is what I'm gonna play. But like no, I don't plan them. Like, but I I like not repeating sets. That's you know? good. Mm. I, like I like that. I like, I like the idea of like. So if someone has watched you before, they can get something new still. Of course, mm. of course. That thing. That's why I had the whole thing of Muzi Mondays where I used to remix like old South African songs and stuff like that. So I still do that now, even though I, I'm not doing the YouTube thing. Um, and I just press pause on that for a bit. But I try a good, like, man, yeah, my say it's like, just, just let me just play some shit, you know, that, that you'll never... And I'll tell you, yo, uh, this is some shit I made. Is all. <laughs> That's dope. You know, and let me play it. Because, like, it's it's why I don't have a band. I, mm, okay. I, I feel like when it's too perfect... Orchestrated. It, it loses the... I feel yeah. you. You know what I'm saying? So I like the whole... I'm on the edge. So in Zalani, so in Zalani, sort of vibe. And so I do that even with the creativity of it and the DJing. So I don't plan them. Uh, I like that Cosmo uh, mentioned uh, your visual aspect of your stuff. Ne? Mm. Uh, and I like the fact that you went to the jacket. I'm going to just do two layered questions here or obs- uh, observations. From Mbangeni, uh, your visuals... I mean, they have a lot of hills, a lot of nature in them, like 24 <laughs> 7. If it ain't rivers, it's hills. If it ain't hills, it's trees. That's if it ain't true. trees, it's birds. That's if it ain't true. birds, it's just the air. If it ain't the air, it's just sand. If it ain't sand, it's people. Like, like homeboy, and, and, and it's like, it, it ain't hard to tell. Like, you love where you come from, and you really yeah. want to have yeah. that in your environment 24 yeah. 7, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. So, That's uh, funny. yeah, it, it, it's, it's evident. Mm. Is it? Is it deliberate and and and, and, and why? I, like about when you're pointing it out, I'm seeing it now. Yeah, like, oh, snap. But like, I don't think it's as it's not deliberate. It's just maybe, maybe it's like you know when you've when you've been conditioned in a certain way, like you long for that thing. Mm. You know, like um, especially when to say Koli, like Kolama Pili, Dilana, and all that stuff. You know, so I like I like things that just remind me of Ekaya. Oh, may- maybe that's why I do sure. it. Sure. Yeah, it's danger. Like, but I'm very like earthy. Also, like I just shaka like, boy. Yeah, all the way. <laughs> <laughs> all the way. I all the way. I come back. It's a two year. It's yeah. I was gonna ask you about that. By the way, tree of life. Lan veiling each other boy. Sure. Fine. You know what I'm saying. It's cool. But, but like I like. I like that thing. Um, Please explain your tattoos. Or, oh, or the ones we can God. see because we don't know if there's other ones oh, hiding in other places. But yeah, they are because I'm a farm boy. That's why that yeah. is. Tattoos. Oh man, Daft Punk, Eye of Horus. I shakra boy a short. Shakra boy a short. Eye of Horus. You already know. Um, Flower of Life. My dad's name. Mom's name. Mm. Um, yeah, this is a flower of life. Like different geometries it makes when it's creating the universe and stuff. My daughter's name, and then yeah, the feather. <laughs> Oh, um, healing. Like, I got this after I lost my mom. Mm. It's like a phoenix feather thing. Got yeah, you. and the one line here? The one line is like my lifeline, and then it breaks here when my mom passes away. Oh, wow. Man. Oh, yeah. Hey, hold on. You guys got some fishing. <laughs> I feel like 
No, 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 you're not, you're not. But I mean, that was a pretty serious thing. That was yeah. nice. No, 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 it was, yeah, it was also, you're very, you're very thoughtful in whatever you yeah. do. Yeah. You're sort of a catra, you know, it's like a layer. Yeah. It's a catra, it's a meaning, yeah, bo. Yeah. And then, you know, it's dope. No, it's dope, dog. It's really, really dope. But then the second part I was going to say, uh, referencing what she talked about and what you talked about, I I was watching an interview or oh, not an interview because there's not many of those. Yeah. I was Sorry. watching you do your content. He's only done like two. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching you do your content and you were saying like how dope it would be because there's one thing you also carry through your imagery is kind of like wearing a uniform. I was yeah. actually about to jump into that. Yeah. I was honestly that was my next question my to be like yeah. my brother yeah. and the Ishkogo is like straight Standard. up you change the color but the hat the is hat always is there. Yeah. Has anybody seen your head? Yeah, because uh, yeah. I yeah, feel like it's always a. It's always like it's always a key card. Oh, 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 thank you, thank you. Oh, oh clap for us, also. Oh, thanks, clap for us. Yeah, you are you're right. You actually do have a nice shape here, dog. We should, we should see it more also. Hello, yeah. size, because a lot of people hide under hats. This tricking uh, under yeah. under there, you know. Uh, I wear a lot of hats too. I do wear a lot of hats, and and I I get what you're saying. Yeah. You know? yeah, but I, I also know. try like once a month to let people see. But see, you could no, see. Okay, I know. Right. <laughs> yeah, well, no. um, so you were talking about wearing that uniform, the leather, the yeah. Vans. You do have a Vans deal. Shout yeah, out yeah, to that. Thank off, you. off the wall with that. Mm. So Issue. the jacket. Yeah. Uh, and and it, it makes me think of another artist that I really love, Travis Scott. Yeah. He also said like he wishes it was a cartoon. You would wear the same thing over and over and over. Yeah, yeah. And I probably also wish I could wear the same thing over and over because I'd save a lot of money. Yeah. To be honest with you, I'd save a lot yeah. of money. Um, why is it such a big deal for you? Um, you were gonna be a doctor. They wear like the same thing over and over. <laughs> you would have saved so much money. <laughs> no, man. Like I, I, I think I just liked the the idea of it, especially like M Zanzi. Like you, you really see like conceptual albums. Yeah. You really see um, uniform. Like when someone wears like one thing for all the videos, or like you really see that. You know, like so. I wanted just for the 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 art side of things i wanted to do that like in my career like sure. you know like because because i'd seen so many people do it i'd seen the michaels do it and mm-hmm. all these people do it where it's like yo this is dope yeah, boy. prince it's prince tyler even, the creator is also doing even, it now. yeah boy like mm. even even what the weekend is doing now like yes like so like daft punk who's my idols you know i like that idea of good to like damn it's just that that's what you get. I'm not selling you labels. Nazi. I'm not selling you anything else but this. You know what I'm saying? So I liked that and I was like, I'm going to try it. Yeah, know, that's really just, dope. Just at least once. And then the leather came about because like, obviously, growing up, my dad was a, an 80s guy. You know what I'm saying? All the time. Fuggy so leather. Like, the the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't know if it's like slippers or weak. That's all. Sure. Like, the leather shit. Like always. So, so, even the beanie is like my dad. Mm. Like so it's there's these things that I sort of do to just like mm. like but usually it's like a message for me, but then when people ask, it's like, Oh yeah, no, I'm just trying to look like my dad. Even okay. though you, you yeah, you soft, yeah, you soft, yeah, you soft, yeah, you soft, you light skin, yeah. but with the be- <laughs> you're a shaker boy, yeah. uh, 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 but with the beanie. I'm gonna I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna be a naughty. I was scared of you but before I actually met you because I've known about you for a while but I actually only met him last no earlier on this year when Wanda had his exhibit not when Wanda it was prepared it was about to have his exhibition that's earlier on this year right it was really late for me to meet you but it was the right time of course yeah and for a long time, I mean, I would be looking at you and I'd be like, you know, Bram, the, the, the spaces. Mm. I'd be like, what's the story here with this part <laughs> hey, What's the story? Yeah. But I, I really, really appreciate that, that, that whole aesthetic. And I love the word you used, which is what I, the word I was looking for when I was talking about thoughtful and whatever. Conceptual. You were a conceptual mm. nika. Yeah. And it works so well for you as well. And I think it's also one of the things that kind of speaks to the fact that you're interesting in a different way, but people yeah. want to know a little bit more about you. Yeah. Um, t- 
tell us a little bit about your venturing um, to the international waters. Yeah. I mean, you've done a, a UK tour. You've done a little bit of the um, the Americas as well. Yeah. Um, why was it so important for you to also then jump ship and say, yo, I'm <coughs> taking this music overseas now. I'm not going to wait for this. Let me be a superstar in South Africa first thing. Mm. You know, because a lot of people kind of get jaded by that. Like, they hold back and say, hey, I need to make sure South Africa hears me before I go anywhere else. Yeah. Um... People are people. Like, for me, it was simply a thing of, I'm going to go anywhere where I'm appreciated. And I'm not going to wait for, like, any radio station, TV station, or whatever to, like, believe in me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, um, when I realized that overseas was a plane ticket, I was like, oh... <laughs> so it's, not, it's not a taxi and a and a boat and then a <laughs> you know it's not like who's like you swim like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. just like it's a plane ticket. Why? Umash and so like for me it was just like okay, let me just do it and and at the time I was like maybe this is the only time I'm gonna get to do it mm. so let me just do it now. Very proactive, eh, Cosy? Yeah, I like that. And, and then and then I and then I left, man. And uh, then you realize, good, so you find kindred souls everywhere in the world and. And you you get to be appreciated in all these like small pockets, but then those small pockets end up being pockets around the world that you can grow. So South Africa is just another pocket. Sure. Like for me, it's home and it's cool, but like it's it's one country and there's so many other countries. So that's why like Ngahamba, and even when I came back, um, I was getting a lot of questions. Wait, and I'm like, how do you feel about being loved more overseas than you are here? But to me, it's like it didn't feel like that because just another country mm. you know like it's a car and i won't come to you know and i'm and i love south africa like it's a car but in terms of Uguti competition or who loves me more like i'm just happy that people fuck with my music straight up you know yeah. straight up yeah. and um with the travel mm. you've met some pretty influential people to say the least yeah mm. Uh, I know you're not a guy. You even had a, have a lyric in, in, in Interplactic where you're like, uh, if I don't brag, did I do it too well? If I don't, oh, man, if I don't yeah. post, did I do it? Do I do it? Do I do it for you? If yeah. I don't post, do you do you still appreciate me? Did I do it? Yeah. And if I don't brag, did I do it as well? Yeah. You know, because in this day and time, if someone feels like they dress nicely, if someone feels like they did something, people cannot wait to post. Mm. You know, does it, is it really, it's almost that like, uh, does a tree fall if the, if there's no one there to see, see it? it yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? It's that yeah. kind of vibe. And, yeah. and you're very um, aware of that. Yeah. Uh, and I know you don't like to talk a lot about, like, how nice you are in, in these streets. Yeah. But we're going to have to ask you to embellish <laughs> right now. What's the street cred? You know what I'm saying? Like, Because get hip-hop. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, um, I mean, I'm, I'm going to mention someone that is Coldplay yeah. Chris Martin. Yeah. You know, he was watching your gig. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us about that interaction? That experience, um, crazy. Like, cause uh, Coldplay, like, is arguably like my favorite band. Sure. You know, like that song Clocks is like top two Word. songs for me. So, anyways, it's 2019. I'm in Paris. I'm playing Afropunk, and um, <laughs> was that I'm, I'm in you Paris. You should. <laughs> Got oh, my shit, niggas so in shit. Paris. You <laughs> going gorillas? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like like um, uh, does the story start there? I made him. I made him in March of the year when they global citizen. Yes. When we weren't supposed to say good to be on two years or whatever. That, yes. So I made him then through Ushama Chozi, and then but like it was just like in and out, man. And then uh, and then I got to be in Paris to play Afropunk, and when I'm playing Afropunk, I killed that show. Yeah. Yes. And then missing <laughs> nice one. Missing Hamba. Missing Hamba. He was waiting for me in my in my like dressing room. Baba I'm a dog. And he's like Y'all sleeping on niggas, B. <laughs> Y'all holding niggas, B. <laughs> and then he's like he's like, yo, that's one of the best things I've seen in my life. Man. And he's like, um, we're working on an album. Um, do you wanna work? And I'm like, fuck yeah. What the fuck <laughs> you think this is? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So we leave the venue go home when you go home you already sent us an email with all mm. the songs like to, um and then this was a song you wanted us to remix so we did that but then through then since then like he's just been like a really dope guy like yeah, a you really forgot to guy. mention that you actually like made like a remix to one of the songs yeah so 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 so, so i made a remix then he made a remix <sighs> yeah. so so it was like he made a remix for a song of my album is and all and then i made a 
But wait, that's not all. Talk to us about, is it Stormzy? Oh, yeah, no, that was like 2013. Yeah, 2013. So this all happened as, as a DJ. The Stormzy thing happened as a DJ. The Chris Martin thing happens now. What Stormzy happened? With, I don't know about Stormzy. What happened with Stormzy? I brought Stormzy to South Africa and they wanted to... Um, Yo, go see, you see, this is why, you see, you see. I'm this, is, this, is this is why, this is why. Like, because it's like, oh. No, was but it, was no, it, was but it, was you, it for you need the, to. Was it for the Red Bull thing? Oh, noisy. So, like, um, noisy and, and, okay. So, we, we, we Nando's, ne, wanted to, to, to let people know that Nando's is a South African brand. So, okay. let all the other restaurants around the world know that it's a South African brand. So, then they chose Stormzy and I to be, like, the first guinea pig to do like a cultural exchange yeah so i went to the uk to see like the grime vibes and all that and then he came here but when he came here like i think um the noise guys wanted to do like something in Joburg, and i was like everyone does things in Joburg. Mm -hmm. if, if i if it's me i'm gonna take you home so i took him and made my mom made everyone that's home. so but, like, dope but like the whole thing was just like the, the sort of cultural exchange like aspect of it by the way when i did meet him for the second time now i think we chilled the first time it was a really dope into the exhibition the second time we were chilling and we got hungry we were over at uh i think we were at nelson studio oh yeah yeah, yeah. uh so we got hungry so uh, then uh, uh, there's nothing to eat around this place because the studios are downtown so then the closest place is probably like brahm with all the restaurants and stuff so then Moses says uh, we can just go to Nando's. I got this card that works at the old <laughs> Nando's is all over the world and we can just eat for free. I just wanted to throw that in there, you know, because I know he won't. <laughs> Flex. <laughs> I mean, I get this chicken for free. What? <laughs> I got this. I'm like, nigga, you got a card that works all over the world where we run that shit back. And I was actually expecting it. I, I couldn't believe it. We get singing in Nando's. So and this is we were like there was eight of us. Yeah. So I never bought dessert at Nando's, but that day I did. Ice cream boy, and then I wanted to sit la puma nyanel card la swiper, and it worked. I have never seen some shit like that in my life. I never seen some shit like that. Such a crazy story. Yeah, it's crazy, dog. So you're the Nando's guy. I don't know. Neither <laughs> confirm nor deny. But yeah, Nando's is family though. Yeah, Nando's dog. That's family. dope, man. All right. So obviously, um, Interblactic is what you're running with right now, right? Mm, yeah, yeah. Um, and you are on the brink of a uh, USA tour. Yeah. 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 Break it down. John, What's the we plan? Are oh, John. Um, oh, John, no plan. Um, so, uh, la, when was it? 2019. I did like like my first like like it was like a tour in the US. Did like what? seven or eight shows but like i wasn't headlining in those ones so it's like you're joining a bill or they change i love but like for this one i'm headlining the shows like, nice so that's why like the way we announced it was like the first like north american like headline tour sort of thing so i'm doing 14 or 15 like this is like the first leg the second leg happens in may shit like, dog first one Yo, I'm saving money. I'm coming. I'm what? joining the tour bus. I think I'll, do your, I'll do your content. So you're gonna have all the Nando's on the road oh, trip while he's So they're not paying. So she just so she's so 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 go to the veggie side, shit. go to the mild, the hot, you know. But even that day I didn't have yeah, as in my eating habits. Oh yeah, it's kind of one way. Yeah. But yeah. but um so do you know where you're going? I mean the yeah, dates are there. Um um I don't I don't know the dates like um, like a kind of, but I know I'm starting in Canada. Then I'm, I'm going six. To so going to Toronto or I'm going uh, to Toronto and Montreal. Ooh, and then Vancouver? No, just Toronto and Montreal. Yeah, just those two. And then I'm Oof. hitting East Coast, the South, and a bit of like the middle. Um, and then ending in the West, West Coast. Yeah. Are you in a relationship, boy, right now? Because eh. No, I'm it not. <laughs> Scoop is like, I'm, I'm your plus one, bro. <laughs> Wherever <laughs> you went, just me. Hey, bring your same up, bring your ass up. Girl, I'm going to let it I'll sleep on oh, the, in the corridor. It's okay. As long as I can get a shower, <laughs> we nice. Oh, <laughs> Yo, that's, that, that's beautiful. And I, what I like about the way you move is you show us that there are different ways to skin a cat. Yeah. yeah. I think people get caught up in just the 
the the the the, the, the mundane hype. way of doing things and yeah. and how things have been done before them so they just fall into that trap and that race and that and that you know what i mean yeah. your groove e1 yeah. yeah. like when i when i when i look at you and i read about you and i hear you talk and and see your actions it's like you show me niggas that you can't skin this shit without a knife, eh? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And you don't have to have a thousand people watching you while you skin it, hey? Yeah. Because even if they're not there to watch it, you're still you're skinning, skinning the cat. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I like that, my nigga. Yeah, thank you, bro. Um, favorite country to perform? That without a doubt, you're going back. You better say so. Mm. Ah. Mzansi Mzans is fire. Mzansi is fire. Um, but France is amazing also. Ooh, nice. yeah. They love African shit out yeah, there, especially yeah. France. Yeah. Yeah. France. France is, yo, France is fire. Like, like the I, weirder, I, I, the I better. know, like, Mzansi, like, it's cool, but, like, I don't know if, like, niggas will catch me if I, like, stage dive. You know what I'm <laughs> no, Yeah, they won't like, do that. I don't know if it's, like, whatever you do. Love, I think you know? you've seen enough videos on Twitter I, to know they will never catch you. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter who you are. Don't because, do it. Yeah, so it's, like, but, like, yo, it, France is crazy. Like a foreign you, sta- country. you staged over in, 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 in Europe, didn't you? Yeah, I stayed there mm. for two years before. Sure. Yeah. Mm. Is it scary? Like, you're just like, okay, bang, bang, bila, bang, otherwise, yo, it's getting tricky now. It is. It is. I'm just you know, like, like, but like, you're in the moment, you know, like, you, it's like, you you know, when you're having a good set, when you know good set, you and the people are like one mind. Yeah. So it, so it becomes a thing like that where, where it's not even through like me telling them, yo, running bamba, I think those stage dive, I'm You know, it's like all of us are like one mind at that time. And then it just like popped off. That's crazy, man. And then how do you get back on stage? They push you they there. They push you back. Sure. Because yeah. I always like see it happen like in these concerts. I'm like, hey, man, yeah. this person's too far to go back now. Yeah, they, push you, they push you back to I mean, the stage. I always think it's about the hands back. on a nigga. Oh, yeah, no, they, t- they touch everywhere. Oh, 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 wait, but wait, let me tell you something. You not know, you know crazy? Yeah. You're actually like weightless when it happens. Mm. Like, oh, these but, 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 like, but like, and I'm sure dude, other women do take advantage, especially like overseas, dog. Like, it's adrenaline, though, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure, so I'm like, sure. Like, you're just like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. it's one thing I really you want know, to experience. I have surfing. not, and yeah. like, so like, you're in that moment so much that. I was about to ask, have you never not lost anything or gotten anything stolen? You lose stuff. You definitely have to take out the phone. But like you, you, when you're in the moment, you're in the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Stage diving is definitely something I want to experience, bro. I actually feel like like you would would do it. I would definitely do it. But I was also scared because you're emceeing the gig. As an MC, you got to understand that you're not the star. Yeah. And sometimes it's like, okay, you you can be cool, you can be dope, but nigga, we're not here to see you. You're just a a conduit for this for this concert here so you can't stage dive but you're also shit. carrying the energy yeah. of the show is that how the, you feel dog for real most of the time yeah oh shit do you yeah, know, do time, you know yeah. why i think it's important for mcs is because mm. um you're the one who has to make sure you're high energy the whole night yeah. so you're starting maybe about 6 p.m you're going on until 6 a.m when it was yeah. back to 6 to 6 mm. you know Ish. and you're the guy who has to make sure everybody is feeling the next artist yeah I just, so. I just, I was, I'm, I've always been scared of people, dog. I, I just always been scared of people. I just, I just always feel like people cannot wait to be like, yeah, <laughs> for me. In the Mzansi, they'll do that. You I don't know. <laughs> I Maybe yeah. you must get some, you must call John so you can get some gigs. That's what okay? I'm saying. I'm traveling. <laughs> cool man, not John. Cool guy, by the way. When he sees this, because he asked to see a copy, like, that's when you know your team is on point. Yeah. Like, like, send me some shit, you know? Because I want to see it. So, uh, shout outs to him. But I did, that's why I, I want to go experience it, dog. Yeah. Go, dog. Uh, in Montreal Please, or, then, or Toronto, wherever we are. Please, we got to wrap it up real quick. Mm. Is there anything else that I do? Do you see yourself. Um, Owning a label, I have a label, but I signed myself. Yourself, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, are you are you in a prowl for other people, other artists, other um, producers, DJs? I've empowered other people to empower themselves. Like I don't, I don't believe in the thing which is over like under me or whatever. But I, I can help give you all the tools so that you can do it yourself. You know, so like I've done that with quite a few artists. Nice. Actually. Like, would say okay if you if you like I don't know everything, but if you do it, ganje 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 ganje. Like you might have the result you want, and most of the time they do get the result they want. So like I'd rather help people instead of signing people. Yeah. Got you, Dame Dash mentality, right there. That's dope. All right, so we are gonna get into a couple of questions. Sure. Name the artists. It's our favorite game here on the Pop Radio. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna give you uh, somebody's ID name. 
and you must tell me the artist name. Oh, I'm gonna fail this. And Let's Scoop's go. gonna help you. Don't worry, because he also doesn't know what's happening on my phone. Okay. Uh, he also sometimes doesn't know everything. Don't yeah, know. Yeah, oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> 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 All right, cool. So, um, non togo or putiles? Is he in a group or is he solo? It's female. It's oh shit! Non togo or to N O? Non togo. Putiles. Give us a clue. Putiles is your clue. Is this is wait 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 is this is 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 this is this is this she's a DJ? No, uh, artist, but yeah, Putelez is your clue. I should hope. Anas. Ah ah. Mango Sutu's granddaughter. Oh, and Mas. Oh, Toya. Yeah. Mango Sutu Putelez's granddaughter. Oh man, Putelez is okay. Toya de lazy. Putelez. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. Oh man, I missed that one. Yeah. She's okay. also doing well. She's something like you overseas did a whole sound. She left. She's Let doing me, amazing things. Can I tell you who we're all copying? Sorry to cut the questions. You see what Spoke copy my did? Oh, you see what Trevor Noah did? Yeah, that's exactly that's what we do. That's the blueprint. That's it. Sure. Mm. You make money. You take the money. You invest it somewhere else. Sure. You, you make go. money there. You go. You keep on going. The money you make, you invest somewhere else. Next thing you know, you got a worldwide like network. Coffee just got nominated for, for a Grammy. Grammy. My God. Exactly. My <laughs> fucking Crazy. God. Yeah. All right, Continue. next person. Ntato Mukhata. Um, I don't know. You just said his just name. Coffee. No, no, no. Fuck, man. Um, spook. Spook my tambo. Yes. Oh shit. I'm sorry, guys. It's okay. You guessed that one, though. You guessed it, though. <laughs> Okay, I try not to say her name often because I always butcher it, but I'm going to stick to the English ones. <laughs> Maya Christina Wegriff. That is uh, Shoma Josie. Yes. Because there's also her Zonga name there, but I didn't want to mess it up because yeah. then Just problems. try quickly, let's laugh. Uh-uh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not. And the thing is, I have to work with her again, so I'm not doing that. Please, sure. now when I face Maya, then it's a problem. Nope, not doing that. Now we turn the game around. Yes. Mm. I don't know if we do have that phone ready. We do. So I got an eye out here. And then you, I mean, you've played 30 seconds. You're a chakra boy. I don't have to explain. Uh, so that's the, the, the word is what yours. we have to is say. And then you give us clues. You've got 30 seconds, my brother. Explain. Wait, wait, wait. Ah! You can't, you what time is going? <laughs> wait. You can't, like, What's if, on the if, if it's my game, I'm the one that has to say 30 oh, seconds. Oh, my God. Okay, fine. I'll start, I'll start yeah. you again because okay. you weren't ready. What do I have to do? You explain have to explain what, what's on there. Give us clues about that, then we have to guess whatever is on there. As is. Oh. oh. Okay. You've oh, never wait. played 30 okay. seconds before, Chakra Boy? I have. No, okay. but these are like personal. Oh, I no, got you. Yeah, okay, well. okay, let me just say. Okay, let's, let's go. go. Yeah. Where, where am I from? Mbangin. KZN. Uh, uh, I, I mentioned all the projects I dropped. What did I drop after Dark Matter? Whoa. Uh, the mentioned. daughter the daughter project? No. No. Intergalactic. <laughs> No, Mama. No, no. you're hiding. <gasps> Never mind. What's 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 Afrovision? Yes. Nice, Cozzy. Um, phone is dead. Let me okay, remember which one it was. Um, what's my full name? Yo, hi, Sana. Never mind. Muzwe to. Ah, yeah, Ibo. Muzwa, okay. I'm Khan Alam. What is your full name actually? Because we need this. <laughs> we need this for the for the next the person next, who the comes. The next guest. <laughs> Muzwa. Muzwa. I just say so. Yeah. One ten Muzwe to. Yeah, I said Muzwe to. I said Muzwak. I did yes. say it. I did. I know. Don't one. worry. We've got it on footage. <laughs> That's sad. Last one. Last one. Personal um, thing. Um, what was it? Uh, I worked with a uh, producer from Canada on Interplectic. What is his name? <sighs> on the song you referenced. <sighs> My realty. If I don't post. Then yeah. I do as well. if Chris I don't Martin. Post. No, no, no. From Canada. From Canada. That mm. sounds like huh? Mm. I don't even House know. House electronic guy. Oh man, I f- you oh definitely have no clue. What's his? Okay, us. tell us. Okay, oh! It was you. That's crazy. Okay, I don't know that, but your that's accolades crazy. are fucking crazy, dog. Yeah, that catalog, is madness. Catalog, catalog, profile, <laughs> profile, profile. Yeah. Oh, is the, what's the plan with the catalog? Is, it, is um, it like make it worth something and then do something with it at the end or you're building the value for it and why do it like that? 
Um, so it's yeah, ownership, build value, build catalog, like, and at a point when I don't want to do this anymore, the catalog or can take care of the daughter. To me, my daughter is mm. set. She's good. And now, me, if if I'm still alive, I'm good. I own it. I can license it. I can do whatever I want. Yeah. I can sell it, whatever. But like the, I can't sell it if I don't own it. Sure. That's a hundred percent ownership. It. Yeah, ownership gets to leverage at some point. But you had a nice. You you, you said it so nice. You said ownership. You said catalog ownership. Something. Well, you else. said ownership, then uh, value, then catalog. Yeah, we yeah we building we building the, the the value. Then we build the catalog. Then we get to a point where our leverage is big enough that we can call the shots. All right. There you have it, From ladies Dr. and gentlemen. Dr. Muziwake. Yeah. Do- I was also about to say doctor. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What's your surname? Mazibug. Mazibug. Dr. Mazibuko coming mm. through live on the YouTube. Mm. <laughs> really respect that. Really, really, really thank you. Thank you so much, bro. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I really hope Scoop gets a, a you know a space in your bag Don't or like I a don't. ticket. Or no, like I said I'm going to pay my own flight. I think. Yeah, like I just need to like make sure that I got the, the, the tags and the accesses. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I oh, know. I'm so crowd cool. out. I'm so crowd out. Nah, we cool. I'm so crowd out. If you can make it there, you're fine. Rolling with the band. Nigga. Nika! If you can make it there. You're in this town, I guess you don't know. Now, Boozy's is going to be overseas, like, oh my god, he actually came. Oh, like, oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> yes, yeah, good. Like, Eastern Cape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't know what you're going to play with other kids. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Thank you so much yeah, for your time. Thank you. Yeah, really appreciate yeah. the fact that you came to an interview because mm. you don't do it often. Yeah. Thank you so much for chatting to us and good luck for the tour. Good luck for everything else. I know you're going to be churning out more music because that's what you do best. Yeah. And we'll keep on supporting. We'll keep on loving it and keep on. Uh, uh, hey, what's the word? Flying the flag. Flying, flying the flag. I was going to say raising the flag and I was yeah. like, I don't know. It doesn't sound right. Sure. Flying the flag. Are you vaccinated, bro? Ah, uh, fully, boy. Better. Fully. Better boy. be. Even though I'm ask not. Him, ask him if he is, because he can't, he can't book a flight. Oh, Jovesi, better. Yeah, get one guy in the play. I pay like interview. Yes, I like one. There you have a Dr. Musi signing out. Thank Moosey. you. See you, Bonga Dan. Game over.